Good morning, it's Monday, September 28th, 2009. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is the morning briefing, a look at the top stories we're covering here on WashingtonTimes.com. Iran has successfully test-fired its longest-range missile, capable of hitting Israel, military bases in the Middle East, and parts of Europe. It was the third round of tests for the country in two days following the, the disclosure on Friday that the country has a second uranium enrichment plant and a warning from the U.S., Britain and France that it must open that facility to international inspection. On a Sunday news talk show, Defense Secretary Robert Gates acknowledged that the U.S. has no military option to stop Iran from becoming a nuclear power. As part of his health care plan, President Obama promised to test out some alternatives to malpractice lawsuits. Now the biggest trial lawyer lobby prepares to fight that effort, but it's struggling to rally members and raise the necessary funds. The American Association of Justice has more than $14 million in debt for the fiscal year 2008, following a huge membership drop that cost them about $10 million in dues. And Germans re-elected Chancellor Angela Merkel to her second term in office on Sunday, along with a center right coalition government. The new government is likely to be more in line with the U.S., particularly in policy towards Afghanistan and Iran. Germany is still struggling with a soaring deficit and rising unemployment. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.